two years ago, when my friends and I were just starting to learn what social service meant, a friend of mine came up to me and asked whether I wanted to join her social service project. And without asking for any details, I said I'd be on board. Later, we would call this project from past to present. And it would be a project of different steps. We would first go to a nursing home for the elderly with Alzheimer's, uh, interview them about their life lessons and their life experiences, make these interviews into articles, publish them in a journal, which we would sell in our school to our friends, to the faculty, to our families. And then um, what we would do is we would take the revenues we generate and buy supplies, art supplies for the elderly. And uh, when we went there, I had a few questions in mind. I mean, if the residents had Alzheimer's, how much of their stories would they remember? And how could I help them to uh, find uh, their life lessons? And I couldn't have been more wrong. I interviewed the lady who wanted me to call her the lady with the cat. And if, I, if it weren't for my friends trying to pull me away from the room, I would have stayed there for five hours at least. And she told a lot of stories to me. She talked about the time when a snake jumped into her jeep and how she fought it off when she was in Australia. How she used to take off the strings of her pantyhose and play them like strings to show her parents that she wanted to play the guitar. And she also showed me uh, um, her drawings, which she exquisitely colored and talked to me about why she chose specific colors to represent her emotions. A year later, after publishing the journal and selling them, we were going to go back with the art supplies. And I was probably the most eager out of all my friends, because I was going to give even more opportunities for the lady with the cats to, do, to make drawings. And as we went there, I introduced myself again, and I asked, do you remember me? And she said, well, no, dear. I'm sorry. And I saw that she was sad. She was frustrated for not remembering me. In the two years that passed, I had a few realizations. I first realized that there was no chance that the lady with the cast would remember me. Setting aside uh, the disease that causes uh, parent memory loss, I wouldn't have even remembered anyone I talked to for an hour and a half a year ago whom I never met before. Um, also, at the time I did the social service project, I had just started my IB curriculum and I was not really able to come up with my own project because I did not have the time or the creativity to do so. And another problem I had was I was not really familiar with the needs of the society I was living in or of other societies who are in need. So I am thankful that my friend came up to me and introduced me to a life of social service. And now I feel as if I stand in a different place because I have been involved in other social service projects. And I've seen successes and I've seen failures. And I believe that now is the time for me to let my failures guide me to, so that I travel through roads I haven't traveled through before in terms of social service. And I started thinking about how I could improve myself. And the first thing that came to my mind was an image I first saw in third grade. It was um, an image uh, that just said 1 plus 1 equals 3. And I couldn't make sense of it because, I mean, 1 plus 1 should equal 2, shouldn't it? And there were also a bunch of apples on it, so it didn't make, make sense to me at all. And still, mathematically, it doesn't. But when I think of it in terms of social service, it actually makes a lot of sense. One of the projects I did at, when I was prep uh, was that we would give lessons to um, children, to students in Edirne through Skype who were preparing for their national exams. And I would tutor them in science. And what I would do is I would uh, revisit the curriculum each time before each lesson and uh, bring practice questions with me so that uh, the students would uh, be better prepared for their exam. And after a while, I knew that I was giving them knowledge. As we moved on, I realized a few things. Um, I saw what teaching techniques are most useful. I also saw which student liked biology or chemistry or physics. And I also saw what motivated students, what, when they wanted to study and when they wanted to just chat with me. And so I learned how to teach, essentially. On the other hand, I was also able to solidify the knowledge I had at hand. Because I did what they were just studying before, 
and I was able to um, learn them even better, but also get new perspectives from my students. And what happened in the end was they had also given me knowledge of different kind. And we were, at the end, greater than the sum of our parts than when we began studying, than when we began tutoring. So we were now much greater. So, okay, one plus one equals three now, but could it equal much more? I think one of the most common social service projects is going to an animal shelter. And uh, say I go there and meet a really cute mongrel, and let's call her Rags. And she's been looking for a home for the past two years. And so each time I go, I post on Instagram about what we did each week, and then tweet about how she needs a home. And the photos get reposted, the tweets get retweeted, repost, retweet. And the next thing I know is that a friend's, uh, a friend's uncle's distant cousin comes up to me and says that she wants to adopt Rags. And um, this is a win-win-win situation. Rags wins as she is able to get a new home. My friend's uncle's distant cousin wins as she gets a pet to cuddle with every day. And I am the perfect match matchmaker. So as soon as I started involving others in the project, as I started uh, talking about why I did it and what I did, other people were, were able to come up with their own solutions to help this cause. So okay, one plus one probably equals 100 by now. And there are all these apples, but where do they come from? Um, one of the projects I did was um, we ran in the marathon and raised funds in order to uh, finance the education of children with learning disabilities. And I want to actually take it a step further in the future. What I want to do is I want to run the marathon with my friends who have learning disabilities. This way, um, we, have, uh, we will not only be able to raise funds, but also they will be able to socialize, get exercise, and even more importantly, they will be able to raise funds and awareness for themselves. And so we will be able to find the, the potential in them and be able to incite the self-advocacy. And in the longer term, there's an interesting phenomenon, I think, which happens. Um, so say we cut an apple in half. And what I like to do is I like to connect the seeds within the apple with an infinity sign. And this, I think, represents a flow of energy, especially in social service. What happens in the longer term is, even if we start out as defining um, the people who are involved as helpers and receivers of helper, these distinctions start blurring, uh, because it doesn't really matter who is helping or who is receiving. And sometimes we switch positions. Sometimes the helpers learn a lot more than the receivers. And so these, um, there's a flow of energy between the two sides, and there's no clear distinction in between them. Also, the different principles that I mentioned, uh, mutual growth, raising outside awareness, and self-advocacy, they also integrate into flow. Because what happens is, everyone who is involved in the project starts internalizing it as a part of their daily lives. It's no longer a social service project, but it's more of a greater cause. It's just a part of their lives. And so um, there's this flow of energy from social service to life. Social service integrates into life, and our liveliness flows into social service. Social service becomes our life. When I was in prep, our prep literature teacher asked us to write this quotation on the front page of our notebooks. Be yourself, but be your best self. Now, after seeing that integration is a really important part of any kind of culture, I want to change how I uh, write this quotation. Let's be ourselves, but let's be our best selves. Together, let's integrate. Thank you. Thank you.